Hi, I'm David Dole, and uh, today I'd like to uh, share a really simple technique that has many different practical applications uh, for the stick or uh, walking stick or cane. Uh, it works with a hook cane, it works with a straight stick, it walks, works with a ball stick, it'll work with any kind of walking stick as long as the shaft is fairly sturdy. Uh, it basically uses leverage to go against different grabs and holds. Uh, the way it works is where your dominant hand is, in my case it's my right hand, and you take it and you push down in front of you, down to your side, taking the other hand, pushing the stick up in a circular motion, step back with that same dominant side foot and push down. Uh, that will strip away the grips and leave the person to your to their side a little bit so you can go in with a jab or a strike. Uh, this technique comes from the Stick and Cane in Close Combat by Tom Lang. Excellent book. Uh, just do a search on the internet, you'll find it, or check out my webpage at the end of this. I have the links to it. Uh, this time, Sutton, uh, my son's going to come in to demonstrate these techniques. So he's got the stick here. Now most fights don't start out with a punch. Uh, they start out with a shove, getting in their face, um, or a grab. So let's say I grab this stick. By turning it over like that, you see it strips, it goes against my grip and strips it away. Now he can modify that a little bit is when I grab, if he then grabs on top of that finger, then does it and pushes down, he locks my hand and goes into a joint lock. Uh, it will also work against a wrist grab, stripping it away again, it pulls against the hand. It works against a double grab, it works against a double wrist grab. Uh, if they grab this side, you can still do it this direction or you can do it in the reverse direction. It also works against a cross grab. Same way. Except no, still your normal way. There you go. Uh, it, another common thing in a fight is a push or grab them, pull them up in your face, trying to intimidate you, headbutt, or just grab your shirt and punch. It works against that. Again, he does the exact same thing, strips down. It can even be used to parry a punch. Uh, if you notice that all these techniques have resulted with my, both of my arms being to one side of him and him being behind me. This is good for him because I can't really punch him and then two, he's got all these wonderful striking points to the back of the skull, uh, the back in general to the back of the legs. Uh, if you think about even like your professional fighters, your professional boxing, UFC, cage fighting, they don't allow for punches to the back of the skull. The reason being there's some excellent knockout points there. Uh, they can make you go. Yes, they will make you go to sleep in a second. So again, these are just really simple one step procedure that goes against several different common attacks. Uh, feel free to try it out with some friends. Uh, read up on it a little bit. Um, the only thing, you know, be careful when you do it, particularly if you try the joint locks. Yes, this is old man Sutton here. Uh, and you know, the cane is a wonderful weapon. Uh, it's a wonderful martial art uh, device to learn. Thank you for your time. Oh, do you have anything to add, Sutton? I'm awesome. And cans aren't just for old men. Good night.